What's up, y'all? Back with another video. Crack this open, have a little sip today. All right, football as well. I got a special box in. Oh, from my buddy, my best friends, and an awesome artist, Eric Bendel, over at Horror Man Cave. Pretty good sized box. There's a lot of goodies in here. Um, <clears throat> check him out on Instagram, uh, Horror Man Cave. Um, he used to have a YouTube, but he doesn't really go on there anymore. Just look on Instagram, and um, I'll put the link in the description below. Um, he's he makes all kinds of like you know he's done a Jack Attack from Demonic Toys, uh, Piranha, all kinds of replicas, and um, also does like resin pieces. He's very talented. I'm not saying that just because he's my friend. He's awesome. He's a fucking awesome artist. And this right here is something me and him have talked about for a long time. Uh, Puppet Master, The Littlest Reich. It was, uh, I think it was 2018. It was made by Fangoria, not Full Moon. <clears throat> but uh, still, all, all the old puppets, most of all the old puppets are in it. Puppets are in it, but there's new puppets that are badass. Like, a few of them that are really cool. And one of them is in this box. Baby Hitler. The Junior Fuhrer. Um, if you haven't seen the movie, uh, spoiler alert, he basically gets birthed out of this woman's uh, stomach, like get ripped, ripped out of it. And then when you see him next, he looks like, a, he's like a baby doll, but with a Hitler head. Um, he's gruesome, he's badass looking. Um, and the, in, in, the, in the movie, uh, the artists that did it, they used an original 1988 Oopsie Daisy baby that crawled on the floor. And then they just either, they sculpted over that head or sculpted it, the baby Hitler head. So what Eric did, we, we found that out. So I ordered the body off eBay, sent it to Eric, the head was uh, uh, done by him, 3D printed. Uh, he had to w get out of the dimensions and ride, ride and all that. Anyway, it's all it's all details, but he painted the whole thing, made the diaper like it is the paint. I've seen pictures already. It's badass. He it, it's this is about as close a replica as you can get to the movie. The body is exactly what they used in the movie. The head's a 3D print, so it's right on. And the paint job that Eric did, that I saw it just looks badass. So. Let's just get into it. And I know, and I also bought a couple of resin pieces um, from him that are in here. Um, there's a VHS, there's a couple of VHS in here that I got, that he got, he picked up for me. Um, and a couple other items he threw in. So let's just get into it. I talked too much. I'm like Craig. What was that, like 20 minutes before he even got in the box? Let's get into this. I don't smell the paint. It's awesome. Ooh, he threw in baby oopsies. Uh, I mean, oopsie daisies, old clothes that came with the doll, I guess. I don't know what I'm going to do with those. Ooh, I can see him. I can see him in there. All right. Let's, let's look at Hitler first, and then we'll get to the other stuff. Actually, we'll have to pull out the other stuff first. Okay, so let's do this first. So this is, uh, he picked this up for me at um, a cult classic convention, The Vagrant with Bill Paxton. And uh, I love this movie. It's a, if you've never seen this, it's a crazy movie. It's really fucking good. Um, so I'm glad to have that. And then he had two copies of Peter Weller's Of Unknown Origin. This is a Warner Brothers clamshell. I used to have this a long time ago. It wasn't the exact same one, but... I'm stoked to have this. I owe him a case of beer for this at Monster Mania. Thank you, Eric. That is awesome. And then Larry's going to be mad at me. I love you, Larry. Larry did tell me about this movie, Uncle Peckerhead, and we reviewed it on the show. Um, and uh, Eric had some promo items from the movie. Uh, and he, it's a little poster. And then Uncle Peckerhead's an awesome movie. Uh, it did take me a long time to watch it, even though Larry told me to watch it uh, probably a year ago or so. But a little promo poster for Uncle Peckerhead. And uh, this movie was awesome. Larry was right. He knows I don't watch it. I'll watch it when I get ready. And then these are the two resin pieces I got from Eric. This is uh, the alligator. Man, I hope my lighting sucks. I'm sorry. But uh, it has... 
it's a green with black wash alligator and has chet on the back hold on one second I'm so sorry. I gotta get a light. Not enough light here. Ooh, there we go. Okay. All right. Well, let's show these again. So there's light. Get the vagrant, VHS, Bill Paxton, awesome movie of un of unknown origin. Peter Weller. It's a good rap movie. Well, it's in the Uncle Peckerhead promo poster, which is pretty badass. Good movie. Um, okay. Now these are the two resin pieces I got from him. The alligator. That's just awesome. Uh, Terror for Tom uh, sculpted this and Eric finishes them and resin and paints them. Uh, that's badass. I love the alligator. We got a little whole shelf over here going but under my TV with all his resin pieces. And then this one's badass. He did, he's carded these for uh, Frightmare Collectibles. Uh, so I went and bought one. Uh, this is Horror Man Cave and uh, Pet Cemetery. And this is Church from Pet Cemetery. And that's painted up nicely. I am going to take him out and set him up with the other ones, but I'll keep the package, like, as pristine as I can. But, man, that church really looks good. Good job, Eric. Awesome. Now, one more thing. Larry, don't get mad at me. If y'all know Larry over at FUC, go subscribe. <clears throat> Eric also threw in this promo item that's kind of rare. It's uh, the Full Moon, like, a couple years back, they released like their newest 10 movies coming out, the Deadly 10. So this is a, a Full Moon Deadly 10 shirt, promo shirt. And it's got the Deadly 10. And it's got uh, the Full Moon features on the sleeve, which is badass. Um, and you know what? I'm not really into a lot of the newer Full Moon stuff. I haven't been for years, but I love Old Empire and, and Full Moon. So I can still wear this. Right, Larry? Wink! Um, that's cool. Awesome. Thank you, Eric. And then now for the, as Craig would say, the quim de la quim. From the Littlest Reich, Puppet Master of Littlest Reich, here is Baby Hitler. Come on out of there, boy. Oh, man. There he is. Dude, this thing looks awesome. Crap. Yeah, you nailed those eyes, man. Wow. The skin tone's perfect. Took him a while to, get, to figure out the skin tone. Skin tone's a bitch, but look at that Hitler hair. If, if you've seen Little Strike, you know this is dead on. And it does work. Look at that. The head moves. Look at baby Hitler. Tell me that ain't creepy. And then he's got the origami diaper that Eric hand made himself. It's badass. But man, that fucking, that paint job is awesome. He did great on the eyes. Man, I love, the hair is just perfect. Like fine, fucking fine little strokes. Like, look how good that hair is. So this is Junior Skrrr. Baby Hitler from Puppet Master Little Strike, made by Eric Bendel, Horror Man Cave. Dude, I couldn't ask for better, man. This thing looks so fucking good. I mean, I've already seen pictures of it, but it's so good in person. Man, that looks awesome. Man, you killed it on those eyes, man. The eyelashes are awesome. This thing is fucking awesome. I thought it was going to be way bigger than this. I'm glad it's just, it's, it's, it's a little bit smaller than I, was, than I thought, so it's going to fit where I want to put it. But, man, it's fucking dope. Good job, Eric. For, this is amazing. Like I said, he painted this whole thing. He primed the body, primed the head, painted this whole thing. Handmade, fucking, like I said, the, the head screen 3D printed, so it's dead on from the movie. I mean, this thing, you can't get more perfect than that. That's straight out the movie. It's as close as you're going to get. And if you haven't seen the movie, go check it out. I think it's 
I don't even like new movies, and to me, it's like the best one. This is probably the best Puppet Master since the first two. Um, it's actually probably better, but um, a lot of people will say it's blasphemy, but it's a really good movie. But man, this thing is on point. It is awesome. And you know what? I'm going to put it on the ground. I'm going to put it and show you it, it does walk like it does in the movie. It is functional. Give me a second. Let's kick him on. Where are you going, baby Hitler? Did you fall down? Are you going to get up and fucking kill some shit? Get back up. There you go. Get up, Hitler. Here, walk over here. I don't. I hope this fucker don't come in my room at night. There you go. Ooh! Anyway, I am stoked. I know it's been a long, rambling video, but... Man, I am so happy with this, Eric. Thank you so much, man. Um, I think this is fucking perfect. It's it's more than what I could even have fucking imagined. Like I said, I've seen him making it, progress pics of it. It, it In person, it's just, it kills. Um, I love it. I love this thing. So, like I said, uh, <clears throat> I don't know how many he's going to make of this. Um, um, he could, I don't know, hit him up on Instagram, like I said, and... But, like, you, you either have to order the body, or if he finds it, it's a little bit more expensive. But um, you can find the body on eBay, and it is the one they used in the movie, the 1988 Oopsie Daisy Baby. Um, and getting the head done. <clears throat> I know he's working on get, getting, uh, um, getting, that, getting more of them done. But I don't know. I don't know. He, right now, he's working on a bunch of other orders, I think. So if you do want one of these, hit him up. He might make one for you. He might not. I don't know. Um, but he's got a bunch of other stuff if he doesn't. So. But anyway, this is one of this is the prototype. This is the first one, and I couldn't be happier. Little Junior Fira. Und ja. Anyway, thanks for watching, and go check out Horror Man Cave on Instagram.